The pandemic has changed a lot of traditions for many, but this year, one family did not let it stop them from celebrating one special woman's 100th birthday. Reporter Jacqueline Coleman tells us how the community came together to make this a big surprise. Happy birthday to you from the city of Hattiesburg and the state of Mississippi, as well as your family and church family. Reaching your 100th birthday is a milestone worth celebrating. When Catherine Rhodes reached the century mark today, she received a surprise of a lifetime. This was mom's 100th birthday. Uh, that's a really special birthday. And uh, we were planning having a big party. And of course, Mr. COVID became our party planner. So now uh, Brookdale has been so gracious in letting us do this drive by for mom. With COVID-19 in effect, the facility has strict guidelines to keep residents safe. That meant family members weren't able to give the usual hugs and kisses. The residents are not normally allowed. We had to get special permission from headquarters for her to come out this close. And, um, but they can't come out, we can't go in. There's a window right over there, the chair and the windows that we can go and talk through the window closed on our phones. But that didn't stop family, friends and loved ones coming out to show their love and support for a very special person on their birthday. I don't know. I don't know how completely. I'm just really surprised. I, I just didn't know I knew that many people. Catherine Rhodes was born in 1920 and at the age of 18, she moved to Washington, D.C. to work for the Civil Service Commission selling war bonds. She also worked at the University of Southern Miss as a secretary to the vice president for business and finance. Holding back tears, Miss Catherine was overwhelmed with love and has this to say to those who made her day extra special. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, so much. In Hattiesburg, I'm Jacqueline Coleman.